All right. Here we are again. Checking it out, town, town, town. Jangles coming at you. Gotta do the thing. Seeing how we swing. Taking off my pants. Because I'm doing a dance. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having a rhyme stroke. Rhyming stroke. All my devices are blinking and blanking. Gotta make sure everything's going good. Oi. Watch. Haji Juhaji. All right. Good to go. Why don't we do it in room? Okay. Just want to check here real quick. If, uh, the, uh, um, if everything's running smoothly here. So, I'm gonna check my test. Good to go. Richie, Richie, how you doing over here? Yeah. What do you do? Uh, are you paying attention to the story in this game, Richard? Because if not, I'll throw this at you like this. So, let's check out what we got to check out, all right? Here, kinesiology, and we're going in. We're going in. What? Guys, a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Don't you think? Wouldn't you think? That, yeah. That would be a little bit uncomfortable. Move it, chairs. Let me read this. The Astral Exhibition, which was originally built for the Astral Knots to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but children was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the children, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the children's behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in with it. But Rome was it built in a day. Refer to file 319 for full report. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Everything's been redacted. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what bro's doing up there. He is chilling out. Chilling out, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna take this scientific device. Hey, is that, is this an electron microscope? Oh no, it's, it's a, uh, that's an expensive piece of equipment actually. I'm going to kill him. Oh no, I missed. He survived this day. What's going on over there? That's strange. 
That's what I thought of saving Private Ryan. Okay. I can't believe they keep that thing here. Holy crap. Those things are pretty bad. Uh, hey there, Captain. Gonna destroy everything in there? What do we Am I gonna wait, wait a second? I can't believe I'm doing this. Am I gonna be going in there? Holy crap. What am I doing? What am I doing? Ugh. Ugh. Oh no! Come back here! <laughs> uh. Oh no! Come on! it in. I'm safe in this hallway. What are these? Ah, oh boy, it's right there. What's wrong with that door? Where's the power to that door? No, I see it. Ah, oh no! 
Now there's one more. <laughs> oh, I get it. Uh, where's the other cube? questions exactly Can I open it up again Let's see my weapon mods here headshot boost if there's anything better than this Astral. Damage boost. I probably should have that. Energy gained. Headshots. Yeah, it's dense, man. It was a dense. All right, how about we put some, uh, some extra damage? And I got a lot of big headshot damage here. Maybe I should just wait till... Yeah, got some pretty good head damage. Never mind. All right. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. Marshall, are you still there? Shit, we're so close. We need to hurry. Oh crap! It's a timed. It's a time, but. Take those shoots out first. Take you out too. How are they so homing missile like? Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. There's a large man over there. That's why I don't go to therapy. Actually, let's get 
some things that are worth explodies. Maybe the explody boxes here. There's a large man over there. You gonna be home for dinner? No? <laughs> Yo, you won't you. W? Well, how are you doing? Darling, eh? Some of you were curious why I had these six sensory deprivation tanks installed. I thought I'd shed some light on the subject. Maybe some of you heard of Dr. Yoshumi Takuyi, uh, the man behind the hugely popular guided imagery of experience tapes and workout videos. Apparently, his tapes go beyond the normal meditative qualities of such things, but create genuine hallucinatory visions in some listeners, or so the reports say, or so, yes, magazines and stuff. We brought these tanks in to test Dr. Takuyi's tapes for ourselves. Plus, there may have been some stress-relieving uses for the staff down the road, if you know what I mean. I think we can all benefit for some time in the dark enclosed space, don't you? <laughs> if you have any more questions, feel free to not talk in, in anything. Don't talk to me. Playing cards? Oh, yeah. Hey, what are those from? Eh? Eh? Shout out.
Summary of Dr. Yoshimi Takui, a Japanese citizen residing in Tokyo, has produced a series of guided imagery experience auto recordings that have gained notable popularity around the globe due to his unusually swift rise in fame, along with reports of vivid children accompanying the use of his tapes. Investigation sector staff were looked into Dr. Takui's background. We found no past incident with an altered occurrence, nor any evidence of involvement with an altered organization. However, agents that attended a signing event reported children when hearing Dr. Tukui speak. We recommend that the research team obtain an audio recording of Dr. Tui's voice. Takui Tokui's. I can't say it. The candidate program. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to... Oh, wait. I, I think later on there'll be Dr. Takui's uh, letter. I'm sure of it. There's got to be. Because he's the head of the department, right? So... That will be the time. I hope. Or else I'll just do it in the next one. Nice! Yep, you gots. Alright, just make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, I didn't miss anything. Chamber tubes? Play. <laughs> Not even a story element. Strange. Good. Door is weird. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Launch efficiency. What does that do? All right, so I have enough energy recovery speed is high. Energy evade costs lower. That's a good one to have. Ooh, look at this. Plus energy boost. Gotta have that. Gotta have that. This is what? Projectiles 4. That's a 3 level. That's the best one we got here. All right, let's continue on here. Hypnosis lab, ooh. That seems fun. Oh boy. I see it. Another object of power? Oh, shoot, just wait. standing there. Ah, uh, I, I forgot about the 11 minutes. I gotta go to the executive mail room. Ah, uh, but I gotta get that. Executive mail room. Where is the mail room? Oh, it's an executive. Wow. Kind of dumb. All right. Some people are stuck there. Hopefully, I won't die. Because uh, you don't get another chance. Don't get another chance for that mission. Weird they have no sound in this part. Why not sound?
All right, here we go. That was gonna explode like that. Okay, there's one more dude. Holy crap, what is that? Where is this thing? More people. Oh, God. Fantastic. It's really uh, pushing the PS4. Maybe it's time for another better system. Don't you think, guy? Huh? 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 Just saved your life. You should be thanking me for it. Huh? Watch my trick. <laughs> huh? 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 Alright, good. I was able to do that. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. Chamber. I don't need that. Alright. Oh, got that. Good. Yep, yep. 
Yep, yep, that's all delicious. I need all those. Make sure I pick up everything I can. That'll patch right up. Oh god. Oh no. Who's that? Hey, I have that lamp. Alright. Let's get back to that paranormal investigation. Can I load the map, please? Thank you. Momento. Gotta remember my shield too, that's something I'm not using. Well. This shield. Front shield. <laughs> that's right. That's how they did it in Dirty Harry. All right. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. What? Faden? Did you see? Hold on. Did you I'm just go cross over for you? We need a talk. What? She got that right. She has to. More of to... you? Really? What? Elevator time. Whoa. <laughs> what, what? what was that? I wasn't moving. Hey, Panty Pro V must do that. Welcome to the party, ma'am. Marshall is right down the hall. This way? What about that way? Now I get it. Boy, do not go in there. <laughs> oh, Taco Bell or some joke. Oh, I'm just gonna leave the body there, huh? Discovered in the home of Agent Children after his young daughter complained of being followed by her rubber duck. According to Agent Children, the matter was ignored, believed to be the result of a child's imagination, until he began to hear the quacking at night. After discovering the item hidden in his daughter's closet, he brought it up to the Bureau for study. Update, it was discovered that Agent Children was bringing known paranatural materials into his home, illegally taking them outside of the oldest house. How this may have affected the creation of an altered item is being investigated. Agent Children has been destroyed. Marshall's eager to speak with you, ma'am. Yeah, me too. He's just on the hall. Stop looking at me. You guys having lunch or claim that control point. Mm -hmm. Get right.
astronauts. It's like how a four-year-old says astronaut. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box. See case file OOP18 for details. In the hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division, physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated training transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a children's session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that children, children within the astral plane vary wildly between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams enter aggressive astral entities. What should I say besides children and the, and the uh, redacted parts? Got to have a backup. Uh, these are the guys that keep spawning. Spawn and stuff. That's cute. <laughs> it's cat for luck. Luck and probability are part of this game. There you are. Huh? I was starting to worry. Hey, baby, how you doing? Congratulations on your appointment, Director Phaeton. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah's dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. And my skin keeps disappearing. She later. could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Clearing out the piss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Nope. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Shut up. I want to risk a breach. You're the breach. There's anything in this place that can improve our luck. You ought to try it out. Yep. Just in case. Do not touch anything. Hey, that's a cool idea. I mean, it keeps going. But something that'll hit the, you know, yeah. Cool place, guys. Uh, all right. Gross. Save your asses. Immediately. You want piece of this? Piece of this. Where are they? 
Yeah, coming through it. Why can't you guys? Delicious. Mm. His warped, paranatural abilities similar to drifters. They are able to telekinetically shield themselves with the nearby material and launch objects at the target. These entities are particularly dis difficult, destructive, possibly included greater internal reinforcement of his resonance. Why do certain his display paranatural abilities? Well, other rely. I don't know. That guy's dancing. Bow! You bow! You know it! I wonder if I could have... Huh. I can clearly fit through there. Alright, yeah, I should do... This whole thing. Supernatural stuff. With the recent arrival of the uh, nothing, there are certain glaring gaps in the Bureau's ability to educate and raise a young child. Uh, that works. There are no other childs for children to play with, and child children is expected to learn about a frightening new concept. We will re require a slow, 
friendly, child-friendly introduction to paranormal topics. With this in mind, allow me to introduce The Threshold Kids, a television show in which a cast of cheerful puppets explain the dangers of living at the Bureau, but also show the fun side of the paranormal. Budget will be minimal. I took a few puppet-making courses at my local community center. We can have research staff build the sets, record the footage, and even do the voices. It'll be good for morale, and I guarantee children will respond positively to these videos. We can't expect a child to enjoy lectures and people in lab coats, but as television for years has proven children love puppets. Okay. Can't fit any better. What's this mission? Hypnosis lab. Well, I was just in the hypnosis lab. Well, I'm right there, so I guess... I guess I'll go through, but... Wait a second. Testing. What's this? Oops. Interesting. As a test, television sets were placed in a variety of locations around the world inside rooms identically decorated. The hypothesis was that, was that by identically altering the decor of every room and then changing the channel in every room, but one, that the single differing television would spontaneously align the incoming frequency to match its synchronized counterparts. The experiment seemed like a failure until it was observed that the agents responsible for arranging and monitoring these rooms were all experiencing the same emotional turmoil, as one clinically depressed member of the team, himself being located in the eastern part of Chaldria, psychological examination of their agents proved the correlation. Interestingly, the phenomenon of synchronicity did occur, but not in the way we predicted. Whoop. Man, it's level six. Yowza. All right. Guess we can't go in there and do stuff. Ooh. He's candy. Up. Oh, he's a candy. I gotta take care of some of these mods. Do some housekeeping. No ability. Astral construct. Let's see if we got anything here. Mods. Can I upgrade? I can upgrade. Yes. Do I want to though? That's the thing. Yes. All 
I could upgrade again. Holy crap. Wow. Now I can't. Okay. So I finally got that one I needed. Um, so let's take a look. We got only level ones, twos, headshot. This level two headshot plus 56 damage, pretty good. Um, what's this? Energy gained from headshots. That's all right. So at the top though, we got two. This is number three. We got a four to three. One and two for the pistol. So, I'm gonna try the pistol. So, let's give it a go. I don't have any of my remote thoughts and tropic echoes. Okay, Prime Scared Weapon Mod Prime. Shall we give it a go? Let's give it a go! Accuracy boost. All right. Great. I'll use it. That's, uh, what we gotta do. Plus 11% accuracy. Pretty good. All right. Virtual office. That's the elevator. Detective studies. Here we are. Interesting. No! So, when I'm reading these letters, what do you think, dear viewer? I should say... Altered item number 52AE uh analysis, session 2. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low-voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. Oh, that's quick. response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand hmm. my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Why didn't you quack? I'm gonna have him. Why didn't you talk? Give me up. All right. All right. This is nothing. So we're going to continue the lab down there, I assume, or up here. Nope, up here. Nope, I don't know. This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over. 
by the hiss. We're too busy playing good video games. <laughs> Do it. Do something. Hmm. Twenty minute. You led me here. Any idea how to make it work? It's a very, very cool looking place. I wish you could kind of move away from her. Can you? Bade. Whoa. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Oh, yeah, yeah. That. Take this. Black Rock Prisms. Black rock prisms are unique formations of black rock, distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces, the unique children's structure of prisms retains frequencies in the range of zero to one hertz with perfect children harmonization. This report analyzes the results of focusing a children through a harmonized prison on prism onto a children met methods for the imprinting of non-physical fields onto children, imbuing them with the properties of the harmonized residents. Children in the prism will be explored and explained. Refer to file children for full report. Okay. So, we need to find all the punch cards. Okay, well, I'll, okay, fine. What's this? All right, well, I, um, there's two here. I gotta go save whoever's go to the communications department for some reason. Oh, there's another one. Just around the area here. Have you checked the upper floor? Hey, quiet. All right. Bitch. I know what I'm doing. 